Hi, I'm Doug Lyon. I'm a media lecturer at Brighton University and you're asking me about marriage. It's quite a big thing in my life really, marriage, because my mum and dad split up when I was five, so that's been part of my childhood. It's pretty significant. And uh, I've got a daughter. Um, myself and her mum didn't get married. Um, then split up anyway. And I've spent most of my adult life in either Hebden Bridge or Brighton, which are two places that have very complicated families with kind of split up families and kids with parents from different relationships and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely been quite a big deal to me. And I, the one thing I would say about marriage that makes things simpler, for example, my daughter's got a, a half brother. Well, I don't really like saying he's my daughter's half brother because he's my daughter's brother. But even though I've known him since the day he was born, and he's a blood relation to me, there isn't actually a name for my relationship with Arthur. So I'm not his uncle, I'm not his dad, but I've been in his life all our lives. So what I notice about marriage is, although in some ways it seems a bit old fashioned, and what's the point? It's not just about those two people, it's about the whole family and the names for what you are. And I have sort of, just in the end, we've kind of settled with uncle because it feels like the but I'm not really. So I think marriage makes things, can make things a lot simpler, especially for the rest of the family as well. Okay. Um, what is your view on gay marriage? Well, I don't really, un I don't really understand what the fuss is about. People who object to gay marriage, it's like, you probably don't know any gay people. And even if you did, why, why do you care? Well, I don't understand why anybody would care whether to get, you know, I understand the religious thing and it, I think that's a complicated legacy that we're kind of gradually letting go of. But for God's sake, these days, if anybody wants to spend their lives with another person and they want to make it for me, well, what is the problem with that? I don't get it. It's ridiculous. Has the fact it's been legalised altered your view on marriage at all? No, it's altered my view on society. It gives me a little bit of hope that we might be progressing. Um, do you think that eventually it should be allowed in church? What, same-sex marriages? So, yes, yeah, so if they're allowed a religious ceremony. Do I think it should be allowed in church? Um, well, the short answer is yes, I do. But the longer answer is more about the necessity for spiritual communities to move with the times that we live in. But that's probably not what you want me to go into now. With this view in mind, do you think other people will have, have a changed opinion on marriage? I don't know, really. Do you mean marriage in general? Yeah, so the fact it's been legalised, do you think it's maybe lost some of its appeal for some people? Or I don't know. I, I mean... Well, my slightly cynical opinion about marriage is that, you know, people seem to get married quite easily and split up quite easily. And uh, oh, that does make me wonder what kind of what's the point of... In a way, it's fun, funny enough, like my daughter's engaged and she's got a baby and she's happy with her chappy. But in a way, I almost feel like being engaged is more significant than getting married because what she said by become what they've said by being engaged is we're definitely in this we plan to spend the rest of our lives together not really sure what we're going to do about it yet but we're not available to anybody else and that's it's simple isn't it once you once you take a stand on that for me that's as significant as you know if my daughter gets married or not i'm not really i'm not really that bothered i just want to be happy but I, I think it is good to take a st I think being engaged in some ways is more significant than being married now because we don't really know. I mean, commitment, we live in very weird times where commitment's up for grabs and people want things quite easily. I don't know, I think we've sort of lost track of what, what it is to work at something. But I also think we've lost track of spiritual community and any sense of belonging and a bigger picture as well. And that's where, unfortunately, religions in the world could provide us with a lot more. Well, like the new Pope's a bit more progressive. It's like, 
it only takes somebody with a little bit of sense in the right place to start saying something decent and it's like oh that's really helpful thanks but that isn't the case most of the time